everyone, Lori Marie here. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm in my makeshift studio here in Plataneo, Costa Rica. So we're going to do a little bit of slow stitching together today. Um, I'm working on a vintage dress. Uh, I've done lots of slow stitching on it. You may have seen the videos about that. And I got some feedback that people wanted to see how the spiral was made. So very slow stitching video <laughs> about making a spiral. Very fun. Um, I made the first video and I was off screen for the majority of the time. So take two. The second one was much more successful. So uh, I am in a child's bedroom. This is my makeshift uh, play table right here. Um, it is a changing table and I am sitting on a very uncomfortable stool. So slow stitching has been the answer for me for right now. So um, I'd say I'm a mixed media artist, but right now I'm an artist. And one, two, three, I'm an artist. And I'm grateful to have something to play with. The slow stitching is uh, just what the Costa Rican life um, has created for me. Hmm, I've created for it. I don't know. It kind of works both ways. I'm enjoying it. Slower pace here. If you guys are watching, uh, Rob and I do have a um, channel, YouTube channel, where we're documenting our adventures, uh, getting ready to move to Costa Rica, moving to Costa Rica, and now what we are doing in Costa Rica. So, Rob and Marie Marie moved to Costa Rica if you're interested in what's going on there. And grateful to be on mm, my lap <laughs> with you. So once again, thanks for coming along and see you on the table. All right, here's our project for today, a little spiral on my vintage dress. We will continue to play on that. I did it on my lap with the light like in my lap as well. <laughs> so I hit the camera a couple of times with my glasses. I was off screen a little bit, but I think you'll get the idea of the spiral. Slow stitch, my favorite. Okay, this is my second attempt. The first one I was off screen for the majority of it. <laughs> so we're gonna try it again. I have number eight pearl, uh, cotton pearl thread, sharp needle with a large eye. You can hear the toucans in the background. That's pretty amazing. All right, get situated here so we can stay on screen. I'm going to put a spiral here with the black thread. Should be pretty easy to see. I will start someplace in the center. Start off with a tiny stitch. And then in the beginning, they are pretty tiny stitches, and I do a lot of flipping around of the fabric, which would be less fabric if you were working with a smaller piece. But I am working on my vintage dress.
think we actually heard howler monkeys this morning, which we don't get to hear in this area very often. So that was fun. I do not have coffee in hand, but I do have some diluted mango juice in hand. I still get up at dark o'clock. I have a makeshift studio here. It is actually a child's room and my makeshift table is a changing table. And my stool is not comfortable. And we do the best we can do. Slow stitching can be done any place, right? So that is not a problem. I am going to make a complete spiral. You can speed it up if you'd like. But I would like for people to see, if they so desire, how this goes in real time. You can see the spiral forming. This is by far my favorite stitch. Each row is its own challenge as you try to space them and curve them. I do have Hudson's bed in here, but he's not in here right now. I push the needle through, I tick my finger, tick, then I know when to come back up. Everybody's going to create their own pace their comfort zone as to how big they want their stitches. There are finger protectors. I don't use one, of course. I do have some but I like to feel everything so I don't wear one. Check in the camera every once in a while to make sure I'm still on camera. That was a disappointment. <laughs> I really like the small spirals in the black on the white. My stitches are smaller. These other fabric with the white stitching, the stitching is larger. And I will be joining all the spirals. This is the spiral I did on the first video that didn't turn out, <laughs> that you couldn't see.
We do have a few toucans that visit the area here. It is not raining right now. You can see why this is very calming. Yet yeah, each row is a challenge. I guess that's why I like it. When you come to the end of your spiral, there's two things you can do. You can close it off, which means bring the, the thread across here and close off your spiral. I will be um, connecting these spirals on the dress. So I want mine open-ended. So I'm going to stop right there pop that through make a little knot on the back so this is how I'm going to finish the piece spirals like this have them connected maybe a half piece here half circle here half circle here have the black thread connect everything. 
This is the spiral I made this morning on the video that didn't turn out. This is the video that we just made together. Open-ended, open-ended, so I can make this spiral connect up in there, then who knows. So that's what's going on with my slow stitching. All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.